I want to talk to WNBA just real quick. Okay. Caitlin Clark has been getting a lot of flack for everything she's been doing for the league. A lot of former players have been coming out and saying, why are we, why have we not been getting the recognition we deserve? She came in day one and has been putting this league on a pedestal, charter flights, all this mm -hmm. things have been happening. Ratings have been going up. Like, what are your thoughts on these players that are in the league and how they're treating Caitlin Clark? I feel like they're, I mean, obviously they're benefiting from her, like, popularity and obviously the charter flights, like you mentioned. But, I mean, they're doing, like, I can't blame them for, like, being, like, physical with her. And because it's part they, of the game. Yeah, they seen what she did in college, and now they're like, all right, now prove it to me that you can do it in the professional ranks. And, you know, with the, what, the one flagrant the other day, I mean, I mean, it, I mean, it wasn't really a flop, but like it wasn't that bad. And obviously, because it's a WNBA, it's gonna be viewed a little different than the NBA. Right. But I feel like they're doing exactly what um, they're supposed to do. And in you know, with Caitlin Clark, if she does what she's projected to do, and she proves that she's like you know this you know all-time generational great player, then they'll notice that, and they're gonna have to bend the knee to her because she's gonna be, you know, hopefully, you know, owning the league in the next two years. And even Andrew yeah. Reese, she came out in an interview and get, took some credit for where the WNBA is now. I think that takes that's bold to me. I, like yeah. that's that's yeah. gutsy. I yeah. wouldn't I wouldn't go out on a limb like that and be like, oh, I just came in the league. I played ten games. I am why the league is right here. That is crazy to say, especially when she like LSU had the better team both years and. Yeah, you know, obviously, you know, they won, but, like, uh, they won the one year. But, like, if you're Angel Reese, like, Caitlin Clark, literally, like, you should have been picked. If you were, if you were did, like, all this or whatever, like, and I like Angel yeah, better uh, than Caitlin Clark. Yeah. <laughs> then you should have picked number one. You should have been had all this popularity, but she wasn't. She's number two, and she, she's got to get used to being number two because that's, I don't think that's going to change. Because I, I, I think it's definitely, it's growing women's sports, women's basketball. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see where it is. And I also saw uh, Monica McNutt on first take just absolutely go in on Stephen A saying, you could have been covering this a while ago with his platform. Like, do you really feel that these, like everyone in the mainstream should have been covering the WNBA before this? Or do you think it just just organically got mainstream because of these two players well it, it did organically grow but you know talking about shows like first take and like national debate shows they're not going to talk about something that's not going to draw numbers and and maybe like they talked about the WNBA playoffs and finals when it was on ESPN so they quite literally had to talk about it but yeah they they I mean should have they talked about it sooner I mean, that comes down to what the ratings were showing, and I promise you the ratings were probably showing that when they did talk about it, a lot of people turned it off um, in the past. But that's not, you know, for now in the future, that's the exact opposite. When you're talking Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese, that's drawing numbers. So I feel like it's not a Stephen A issue. Like, he obviously he's the main face of the show, but... I wouldn't directly take it out on him. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more of the executives and, you know, a lot of people that go into ma making the show. But to get numbers, to get... Uh, you know, you gotta have compelling things to talk. Yeah, and you, you know, gotta have relevant things to talk about. And that's that wasn't relevant at the time. So. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, nice. I'm from another world, baby. Yeah, right away, paradise. They think I'm way too cold, cause I put my heart.